Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir, and welcome back to Iconoclast. I'm not sure if you can tell, but we're actually on the moon right now. We're on, on a lunar base known as Midway, and it took some real effort to get here. We blasted off at the end of the last episode after finally taking out Agent Black um, in like three different forms. After we killed her like human form, she turned into a horrible, crusty white alien who was gigantic, and it really was a terrible boss fight in terms of toughness and just, uh, I don't know, mayhem. Um, after we killed that one, she turned into a smaller, crusty white alien with a really large, inflated cranium, and she clung onto our rocket, but I think she's finally been obliterated. And uh, now all that's left is his future, which is awaiting. The uh, royals run ahead. We're trying to intercept him here, who I think is a giant space worm. Oh, and these are capsules that could potentially get us back home. I was told there was... I was told there is a map in there through which you can select a destination. That is it, I guess. I've got a feeling that's got to be very important to note. These are our escape shuttles. Wait, can you... What is that big yellow thing above? You see it in, like, the top left? Oh, that's... No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, also, I think our brother's dead as well. I neglected to say that in the intro. But, um, Mina, our sort of best friend, I suppose, or at least closest companion, blasted our brother in the back with a shotgun. It's not good, so we don't know if he's still kicking. Uh, also, these white doors, they should open with me approaching them. It is a similar permission registry to the one concerned cameras. It's these lit panels. No need for you having to spend time figuring out ways to bypass these. Alright, so we can only go through them if we're with Royal. Is that going to be the basis of some future puzzles? I imagine so. So is he with us now? Oh, the earth looks really weird from up here. I imagine it will look quite weird anyway, but especially in this game. Why is it all sort of uh, segmented? It looks like it's a Minecraft world. Okay, he's doing that again. So what's going to happen if, God forbid, something happens to Royal? Can we not get out? We have to drag his corpse to these doors? Welcome to Midway, pupils. Oh god, it's a bit morbid. It's only us here. There'll be no pupils coming up to this moon base. Can we go in these doors? Oh, reserved for Emmett Darland. Oh, Darland. I remember him. Uh, Ailing Ferrier? I'm probably saying that name wrong. Be a Block Rock. I don't know these people. Oliver Shard. Can I go down that ladder? No. Joseph Glass. Okay. Mother. <laughs> we all know what happened to Mother. She uh, expanded and then exploded. Progeny Royal. Oh, that's him. And Madeline Benucci. Benoche? Benoche. Probably Benoche. Doesn't matter. I imagine they're all dead. We know a few of them definitely are. This is a hugely long base. Is it overcompensating a little bit? We need to go in. Oh, here we are. Space one. That's what we're looking for. Oh, I can see him. To think he is this near us already. His shape, it truly does resemble a star worm from here. I'm closer than anybody alive has ever been to him. Oh, come on, Royal, stop fanboying. The former holy progeny wants to reason with a god. But yes, this is bigger than me. It's everything on the planet. Mina and Elro and everyone. Minus Elro. And you, Robin. I will focus all the energy I can. My powers will make contact. He will notice me. All the hope we have left is that, in meeting us here, he might have a change of heart. He's going to kill Royal outright. I know it. He's going to eat him or something. So how big is this space worm? Oh, I need to try harder. Okay, don't give yourself like an aneurysm. No! Oh, <laughs> is there anything we can do to help? Oh god, he's spent. He, he flinched, didn't he? Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, no, he's definitely turning. He, he's about to grant an audience with me. I am... I am not ready. He's coming so fast too. He's going to smash into us. <laughs> Very fast indeed. Oh, fuck. It's hideous. I mean, I was pretty much expecting it to be. But that confirms it. It's like a fuzzy... A fuzzy conquer. Uh, I, I'm... Oh, my dear God. I, I mean... Oh, oh, great, wonderful he. Oh, look at his hands. Oh, magnificent star worm. I do not deserve to look upon your being. Uh, um... Magnificent, beautiful, awesome he, thank you for granting me an audience. On behalf of all humanity, I welcome your return. Uh, well, okay. Uh, um, as we understand it, you visit us out of a deep dissatisfaction. 
Indeed, much has gone wrong, and many people have defied your divine laws. However, I can only pray that you do not come here to vanquish us all. I, your progeny and representative of humanity, was led to believe that was your what was being done, and was in accordance with your wishes, but it clearly was not. Many humans have evidently been misled by half-truths. I will plead with you, as a divine representative, on the judgment of humans. Not all humans are bad. Will he, uh, will he see where we're coming from? He looks quite stern, and a space worm of few words, I think. Uh, am I doing something wrong, my lord? I hope I have not offended you with improper manners. But so, are you here to destroy us? Might you spare the planet? Please bless us with your answer. Yeah, come on, do something, dude. Why do you not respond? Uh, I am royal, your chosen leader. I was chosen by you. I was chosen by you, right? Speak to me. Oh, come on, don't change your tone. Jesus Christ, Royal, don't forget your place. What is it? W wait, what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Come back here. Oh, fucking hell, Royal, you just bust open its brain. You can't just ignore me. I am Royal. I am divinity like you. You will listen. Shit. Is that... Is that it? What's happening to my head? Uh, oh. oh dear lord, now look what you've done. Why are we not being sucked into the vacuum of space? Oh, he looks like a, like a moth. <laughs> Royal, let's get you. Ah. Right, so I don't get it. In an effort to show this uh, divine beast that not all humani humanity is bad, you attacked it. It doesn't give the best impression. Everyone hates me. I mean, I'm a little bit peaked with you, Royal. I've ruined everything. I think it's safe to assume that you did. I knew it would have to be. I knew it. I knew it would be dragging his corpse back through here. I'm not surprised in the slightest that we've got this lumbering dope on our shoulders. I should be dead. I mean, I wouldn't ever wish that on you, Royal, but you really are a pain in the ass. Now, wasn't there some huge red blocks that before we can get out of here? I'm a mistake. Oh, come on, dude. This isn't a pity party right now. We need to get off the damn moon. What, we've got three, two minutes? Two minutes, 35 seconds or so? It seems more than enough time to get to the escape shuttle. Is there going to be a spanner in the work? We could finally be happy. No. I don't think I'd be too happy in death right now. The only bad thing is that the alien's definitely going for Earth. So everyone else... Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, so what we do is we use this. Now, oh, come on, I know this is what we must have to do. You're kidding me, right? Fuck. Um, what do we do? What do we do? I hope to I just go. Okay, see you later, Royal. Maybe we have to drag something back. Oh god, okay, I'm a little bit worried now. Oh, fucking hell, there must be a block we can use to maybe stop the door. Wait, we just leaving her? Did we just leave Royal? Shit. I did it without even thinking. What does that say about me? Holy crap, that was cold. We just left a friend to die. I say friend. Someone we've spent a lot of time with. It's only because I thought it was the next part of the puzzle. Oh, I feel awful. Fuck. I don't know if there's multiple endings to this game, but if there is, we just got a shitty one. I'd feel a lot better if that choice was unavoidable, but I can't help but feel there was a way to get him back. Oh. How convenient, we landed right by our house. Oh, he did say you could choose where to land. I think Robin may be a bit of a psychopath. Oh, she's showing remorse. Oh, fuck, Mina. What? Robin, how did you... Are you alright, honey? S 
so you're back alone well we're all about to go right sorry that's terrible you're back home though you're too good <laughs> that worm creature smashed into the ground near here what will happen now guess we try and kill it maybe seems to be the answer to most of these problems sweet little robin please don't feel like you failed it's crazy the amount of things you've managed to do you just wanted to help despite people resisting that makes you cool okay you make me realize how much of a jerk i can sound like also that i'm pretty selfish some decisions aren't meant to just be for yourself they are for everybody else but it doesn't stop me worrying i've ruined everything i had with samba and my mother those emotions are okay but sometimes there is a greater purpose right <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm rambling a bunch of quotes from a poster, but I think I'm making a point. Maybe it's just more excuses for myself. I am good at those. Your brother is in your house. Some other people were helped out along the way too. You should go now. Wait, where are you going? Robin, I'm so sorry for anything stupid I said or did. Everybody loves you, okay? Don't forget that. You're bigger than all of us. I wish the world could have known that. I I think I need to go home now. I don't know how many days or hours or minutes we have left. These two conflicting sides of my stupid life. I'm afraid that everybody hates me. Not hate, a slight disdain maybe. Uh, farewell, little Robin. Oh, patronising as well. I'll see you in a different world. Is that really going to be the last we see a Robin, or will she do like a hand Solo? Come flying in when we fight the worm. I mean, what am I doing, actually? I guess we go see our brother. I want to know how... Oh, shit. I should have saved there. Wow, Robin! Oh, oh. Did that crash involve you somehow? The stories we chemical hear about you, they are nuts, but so very true. You even go to space and come right back. When Elro's alive, he got a bandage. Wait, has he lost part of his foot as well now? I take it things didn't go too well. While you're up there, he streaks across the skies. You've done more than enough. It's time to just let whatever is about to happen, happen. Only when we submit does the expected come true, Tegan. Now, now, would we ever suggest that little Robin could take on the great and monstrous space hose? Her wrench may be big, but he is not a bolt, is he? <laughs> the mechanics can achieve anything, given the right input. But really, Robin, you're already the queen of the mechanics. Have your rest. I've been Elroy's friend for a long time now. I know him well. I know what he may or may not do. I've always tried to push him in the right direction. If he tells me to stay behind, I know for sure to do the opposite. To push the buttons for him. Wait, what? Is she giving it? Oh, she pushed the button. Tegan. That's how we got launched into space. He does love you. He's Sunflower. Even when one of our machines fail and covers her big face in soot, she keeps smiling. A sunflower always faces the sun. Then maybe the sunflower can convince this man to plant his butt on the bed. He insists on sitting here, ignoring this doctor's sage advice. We should leave you two alone. Whatever comes, I wish you all the best. What say you, good doctor? Will you greet the doubt the dawn with me? Oh, with tremendous pleasure. Goodbye. See you, Tegan. I'm glad we know who pushed the button now. I was wondering who that could have been or how it could have happened. I'll see you around. Eat your veggies. Is there any point? We're all going to die. He wishes to grant you penance within your own home. Well, we both grew up here. Dying here fits pretty well. Those two. They tried to humour you. Did you notice? Even now, they would stupidly think to. I tried to tell you people that the rocket would be pointless, but you are back, so that's good. Maybe we'll get to see Ella again. I want to have her back. Please, just stay with me now. Let's meet the end, together. That's what I want. It's only you and me now. Um, no, I think I will leave you here to wallow. I'm going to try and save. Um, I want to know where the thing landed. I reckon I could fight it. 100% I've got a horrible I don't know I think it's just me main, uh, maybe being a bit paranoid but I feel like we could probably end the game without fighting the, the alien but it's also a possibility like 
what I'm trying to say is that I think there's multiple endings here. A new key item, mother. What the hell was this? What the shit? Yeah, what I'm trying to say is that I think there could be an ending where you fight the alien and an ending where maybe you just sit and await your death with Elro. So I'm just having a little bit of an explore. We'll keep heading left for now. Okay, let's go up. Good. Um, obviously we have no idea where the thing crashed. And that takes us into a hole with the moon man, doesn't it? Let me just test this out. Oh, the wrong way. Okay. This could be silly going down this far. Probably would have found it now. We are in a cave. And this takes us into the electric woods place. Hmm. Yeah, Shockwood. That's the name. Alright, well maybe not. How about... We check the other side of the map? At least it'll be quicker to get out of here. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really fun. Or should I just sit with Elro? And maybe we will fight the thing. I don't know. So many possibilities. Oh, fuck you. And I could definitely be overthinking this. It could just be, look, just follow the game. It's completely on rails. Wait, is this where it landed? It feels like this could be where it landed. I mean, this is a big hole. What on earth? Impact zone. Holy fuck. I'm not an idiot. It's down here. Wait, wh why would you do that? Oh god. Okay, we have to... There we go. How do we kill it? Oh shit, okay. I finally figured it out, but that was complete bullshit. We did it. I think you need to switch place with the goo on there. I don't really know how we did that. We're definitely going to die. Oh my god, this is too much. I don't like it. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Oh, but we did that one really quickly. Get away from me. Okay, well, this is uh, really hard and a bit shitty, but at least we know better now. I'm finding this bit so tough. It's Im almost impossible to kill these fuckers. Oh, have I done it? Nearly. Got hit, though. Oh, you can shoot the spike. Okay. That's great to know. Been trying to kill the others without killing the spike first. Die. There we fucking go. Oh, I hate this. This is a horrible, horrible area. I've decided already. It's making me very stressed. Whew. Okay, take a breather. We've <laughs> spent such a long time just trying to defeat this first room. The enemies are no joke. Um, all because of shitty blue stuff all over them. Now what? More enemies? Fine. Okay, we just found out how to take you out. Oh no, it's on the fucking ghost now. Just what we need. We hit something there. Okay, so the ghost is weird. Can we get free? Oh, we f no, we're not free. Yes, okay, same thing. Just need to s use the DNA gun against it. Then how do we actually kill the ghosts? I have no idea. Oh my god. Please stop. Um, could try the same again. Doesn't really do anything for me, does it? Unless I can escape somehow with them. You can hit them while they're little and shy. Go on, fuck off. I don't know what to do for you. Oh, there we go. That helps. Come here. Just need to try out all the attacks we've been given. Finally, we've done it. This is so stressful. Looks like the world's about to end or something. That's it, get in that little gap. Uh, and drop further down. What a great idea. Wait, no, we've just done a... I thought we'd just done a horrible loop then. 
What's next? We'll take on anything. Oh, it's not holding back. What the fuck is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, maybe this will work. This seems to work against most things. Yes, it does. And then don't we chuck a bomb in you or something? Yes, get the health. We need that. Easy. <laughs> Use a charge attack on you. There we go. All right, now we're talking. I think there's one more. Eat that. Oh shit, I said, eat this. I said, no, eat that. Now blow up for me, you weird cactus lizard. Oh, all right, we're doing it. We're getting further and further. How deep did this worm crash? I can take you out relatively easily, I think. Oh, but you're quick. Just depends what else spawns. Oh no, why do I think to myself? What is that? Oh, it's the deer. Come on in, dear. Take you out first, you spiky bastard. Beautiful. Oh no, there's more. But now we've done that, it's fine. You get the goo off him, there's nothing to worry about. Yes. Both the gear, the gear, dear, or ghoulus. He's gonna dive bomb me, aren't you? Take that. Usually I don't feel comfortable slaughtering deer like that, but when they're covered in alien goo, I will wreck them, bastard things. Should we go one more? One more deeper? I guess we might as well. Oh, thank fuck a save point. That's brilliant. That could mean we're, we're nearing the end here. But my god, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you may hear it in my voice. This is a tough, tough level, a tough area, and it's keeping me on edge. But I think, I'm so glad we didn't sit with Elro. Imagine if that just ended the game prematurely. Although I'm also a little bit worried that we may have missed out on some cool dialogue. I don't know. Either way, maybe I can check on YouTube to see if there's alternate paths to take here. Regardless, if you enjoyed this episode of Iconoclast, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal. And I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we'll go left and then right. Maybe try and find this big space worm and uh, blow him up. Please go ahead and subscribe. I can bring that to you. Got any questions you want to raise? Um, could I have saved Royal? Please let me know if I could have. I would love to. Um, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you.